This video presentation is an introduction to databases. A simple introduction for the purpose of prep preparing for CSEC EDPM examinations. Okay, so let's get started. By the end of this lesson or video, you will be able to define the term database, list terms associated with databases, define those terms associated with databases, identify the parts of a database, appreciate the importance of database structure, extract data from a simple database, and list data types used in Microsoft Access. A database organizes data in such a manner that it can be accessed, retrieved, and used. used. A database can be referred to as a collection of related data. Remember, data refers to raw facts or unprocessed information. For example, if we look at the numbers 0707-2020, these are just uh, a group. This is just a group of numbers. Data in a database is processed into information. This data, usually stored as tables, forms the basis of information. Therefore, information is meaningful or processed data that is useful in some way. For example, if we take those numbers 0707-2020 and apply some meaning to it by identifying it as DDMMYYYY, we can see that the data then becomes information regarding the date. Data and information in a database can be stored in various forms via text, audio, images, video, etc. Some common examples of databases include phone and address books, student records, the TV guide, documents in a filing cabinet. Queries are often performed on the data stored in a database. A well-structured database saves disk space by eliminating redundant data, maintains data accuracy and integrity, and provides access to the data in useful ways. Designing an efficient database is a matter of following the proper process. That process includes these phases, requirements analysis, or identifying the purpose of your database, organizing the data into tables, specifying primary keys and analyzing relationships, normalizing to standardize the database. Database structure is referred to as the building blocks of a data database. The next step is to lay out a visual representation of your database. Within a database, related data are grouped into tables each of which consists of rows and columns like a spreadsheet. Database structures are essential to the efficient databases. There are various types of database structures. These include hierarchical structure, the relational structure, network and object-oriented database structure. As we learned before, within a database, related data are grouped into tables. Each table consists of rows or AND columns. This database was created using Microsoft Access. To convert your list of data into tables, you have to start by creating a table for each type of entity, such as a product, 
sales, customers, students, orders, etc. Each row of a table is called a record or tuple. Records include data about something or someone. By examining the table displayed here, we can see data being stored about students. There are five student records being displayed in the example. We have a record for student number 1578005, etc. By contrast, columns, also known as fields or attributes, contain a single type of information that appears in each record. In this example, we can see the fields or attributes that are stored about the student are the student ID, the student's surname and first name, the student's address, the student's date of birth, and the student's phone number. Queries are performed on databases. A query is a type of command that retrieves data from the server. So by examining this example shown here, we can see that the table consists of student records, student records identified in rows, and the attributes stored about each student. When we examined the example shown before, we saw that data was being stored about students. Every field in a table has properties which define the field's characteristics and behavior. The most important property for a field is called its data type. The field's data type determines what kind of data it can store. The application software we will use is Microsoft Access. Microsoft Access supports different types of data each with a specific purpose. For ex in the example shown here, we can see the data type short text, stores, text or combinations of text and numbers, including numbers that do not require calculating. Example, phone numbers. And the size is up to 255 characters. Each field can store data consisting of only a single data type. Here in this slide and the one that follows, we can see some of the most common data types used in Microsoft Access. On this slide, we can see short text, long text, number, date and time, currency, auto number, and yes, no, which are the date, some of the data types used in Microsoft Access. Other data types used in Microsoft Access are Attachment, OLA Objects, Hyperlink, Lookup Wizard, and Calculated Data Types. For further information, you are asked to research how these data types are used when creating a database in Microsoft Access. And what type of information do these data types allow you to store? Or rather, what type of data can you store using these data types? Here we can see the data types used in the example shown before in Microsoft Access. We have now come to the end of the lesson on database basics. Thank you for viewing.